Hey everybody and welcome back to a beautiful sunny day and a new video. Today we're on the move again and we've come down to Rocky Auto's cafe slash mini museum kind of thing. So following on from the Toyota Museum video, uh, we're going to bring you some pretty uh, nostalgic, classic, really cool, well done cars. So um, we're going to get into the little museum and then we're going to have a bite to eat show you exactly what's going on in the Rocky Museum. We have arrived, there's a little bit of wind, um, sorry if you're picking that up. Um, I'm going to spin this around and show you what this place looks like. It looks pretty cool and there's just random stuff, you know. I was coming down the driveway and I could see a, G, uh, a 996 Turbo is over there hiding behind the facility so we'll go and take a look at that. And then randomly you've got stuff like three Little Z3 is just chilling out here and, and God knows what's hiding in the garages behind me. Um, you've got the Rocky Auto warehouse and facility and the cafe with museum. So let's take a look and see what we can find down here. Here is what is laying outside. Now I'm not quite sure if these are genuine or they are the rebuilt replica type cars that Rocky offers. This is very special. So just beyond those 2000 GTs or replica variants, we have a 996 Gembala GTR 750. Evo um, and I did ask because I am a fan of these and it is actually for sale you know one thing I really love about this place is that the location I know the cars are cool but they've got such a cool spot here I mean just look at how beautiful the Japanese countryside is with a an awesome backdrop behind the museum and cafe that's just so impressive and over here we have a really really nice it's almost like a deep ruby colored wide body fair lady and I don't come into contact with so many of these but this one it is done really well that's a little bit of the spec I think it's got an RB25 that's a really really cool car so we have another fair lady this is a very very nice color possibly not easy to make out on the camera but it is so deep this one has a V8 5.3 litre engine in it and it is the BMW Phoenix yellow colour that you would see on the E46 M3. And of course over here we have a Skyline sedan. Um, again, looks absolutely monstrous. Very period correct. Um, it, it, looks, it looks terrifying from the front. <laughs> There we go, Skyline GT. And over here we have another replica type vehicle. I believe everything here is for sale. Now this looks like it might have been more of a racing type vehicle. Oh, okay, a drag. I'm gonna guess drag because it has a RB26 T88 34D. Um, there's, yeah, there's a lot. It has a lot. I'm gonna guess drag car. Super, super cool. <sighs> wow, what a place. It's just so beautiful, so calm. And there he is himself, Mr. Rocky. We're inside, starting straight off the bat with a very, very, very old Ford. Um, this guy, I mean, he doesn't just do Nissans and, and the whole GTR and sort of stuff he's he has a very very different taste and I mean you can clearly see that the guy's into a heck of a lot of different vehicles and this being one is to find this here is something that I didn't expect so we've got the classic old Ford and then just beside it another very very classic Rolls-Royce which again is, is something pretty special to have. I mean, it doesn't look like it, 
it's in a mint condition it, it looks pretty rough but I actually like that about it you know because it still has its character and it's it's clean it's clean it's a cool car never ever driven anything like this would love to so as you can see there's quite a lot of stuff in here and I do really really want to just come and take a look at the 2000 GT that we've got over here so cool the shape the lines very very impressive and beside the 2000 GT we do have a very cool Hako and this is a I believe a genuine GTR how cool is that so cool so clean this is another car that I I just think is really really smart and I mean it's coming to a place like this it's not just about the cool cars inside it's about the memorabilia there are a lot of bits and pieces just laying around that are so cool and iconic to see some of this stuff is just insane look at all the history of you know calendars and features of their cars and it's just so much history like look at that that's an amazing beautifully designed picture all the way down the wall from past shows events i mean i'm a little bit blown away to be honest because it's like someone's life and history is is right here in the room i think that's really special on this side we've got some bikes so rocky auto they do a lot of these um replica type 2000 gt bases and i think they are calling it the 3000 gt super replica so i mean it looks pretty cool it looks cool i believe most of them are automatic got the drop top here that one is also a 3000 GT and that's the Bond car replica I guess and then beside it you can see a RB in there in that fair lady I believe this one has a carbon wrap and sitting beside that one we have a V6 we have some racing cars and these again are things that I never would have imagined seeing in here this is also something that is just so special. An actual Kenmary GTR. Now I've come across one of these before. Um, it wasn't completely original like this one. Wow, the color is very, very special. I really like this color. That is a very, very cool car. Very, almost looks like a charger at the front. <laughs> And then just for the ultimate nostalgia, you've got the Fair Lady racing car, I guess completely restored because it is not bashed up or, or anything. It's, it looks like it's been recently redone, repainted, restored. That is... And what I noticed, cool bits of memorabilia people's autographs, photos. I mean, it's such a cool place. Look at that. Okay, so yeah, this is another place that I can recommend coming to. The food is absolutely amazing and the attention to detail is perfect. The staff are very, very friendly. And yeah, it's just a wonderful place to see a lot of nostalgic vintage stuff. Um, and yeah, the scene, the scenes, it's very scenic, very beautiful place. I just love how that car looks. Wow. So cool. Rocky Auto's Cafe and Museum. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing what's about and um, hopefully I can visit more really nice little places like this in the future. So please do uh, keep watching and following for more of this um, hopefully cool stuff. Thank you.